Well, Jessica, we just got an update from Boston police who tell us a student shot another student outside the Jeremiah Burke High School. Let's show you some video from earlier this morning when it was a much more active scene. Again, this all happening here at the Jeremiah Burke High School in Dorchester. We're told by Boston police that student was taken to a local hospital where they are in stable condition. Now, shortly afterwards, a description of another student was shared with police and a suspect was located and positively identified a short distance from here along with a firearm. A short time ago, again, we heard from Boston police as well as school and city officials. Take a listen. At approximately 934 AM, officers from District 2 responded to 60 Washington Street for a report of a person shot. On arrival, they located a teenage male who is a student at the Jeremiah Burke suffering from a gunshot wound. That individual, the victim, was transported to a local hospital where his condition is listed as stable. Shortly after the incident, a description of the suspect was broadcasted. Additional officers responding to the scene located an individual matching that description. This is a school. This is where we should be coming to celebrate and be able to see the community that's here at the Burke and the good work that's going on in the building. And again, we have violence with youth, too many students, too many young people, and too many guns in the street. Now, Boston school superintendent also mentioned that recently there had been another incident here at the Jeremiah Burke. There was a stabbing a couple weeks ago, so obviously this is now unfortunately the second time this school has been in the news for the wrong reason. Now, right now, school officials say students are able to freely move around the high school after they were on lockdown for quite a while. And Jessica and Antoinette, that's the other part of the story. When we arrived here on scene, there were several concerned parents that heard about this news either on the news itself or had gotten updates from students. They were frantic, many of them screaming, crying, trying to get to school. They obviously had to wait till police allowed them to get to the situation. They just removed the crime scene tape around the school right now. So anyone watching this right now, Washington Street is now back open. But then again, the investigation is in the early stages as of right now. Reporting live in Dorchester, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center.